homework over, um, over Thanksgiving so we're gonna take one more test before Thanksgiving and then a test before Christmas and we'll be done with tests for the semester but today we are going to do lessons 31 and 32 So we're going to talk more about some fractions. We're going to talk about decimal fractions. Now, here's the deal. I think we talked about this. Decimals didn't used to be called decimals. They used to be called decimal fractions. And then they shortened it. They took off the word fractions and called them decimals. Yes. Did you start Yep, thank you. Okay, so with a fraction, what are the three parts of a fraction, Dylan? What's the top one called? What's the bottom one called? What's this thing called? Denominator. Which one's that, the top or the bottom? The bottom. Yep. Numerator. Yeah. Yep. Numerator on top. And the thing in the middle, we just call that a fraction bar. Um, or you could call it the line thingy, you know, I think that's the technical term. All right, so this is, remember, this is the number of parts selected out of, out of total number of parts. Okay, so to parts selected out of total number of parts. Okay, so if you have like uh, this thing here, let's see here. Thank you, thank you. Have a candy bar. So what fraction, what fraction is shaded? Can you see that? Might have to squint a little bit. Three out of how many? Ten. 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 Nice. Nice work. So three tenths. So what fraction is not shaded? Um, seven tenths. Seven tenths. Good job. All right. So when I talk about a decimal fraction, a decimal fraction is just a fraction, um, but here's the deal. You can see you can see the numerator, but not the denominator. The denominator is based on the position of that digit, okay? So if I say 0.3, this is three in the 10th place, right? So the first place after the decimal is the tenths place. So the see so how the denominator you don't have you don't see over ten, right? But that's the denominator. That's that's how many total parts. So three out of the ten total parts. Now, really, you can just say three tenths because it ends in the tenths place. So you just say three tenths. All right. What about this? What's this fraction? How do you say that? Three tenths. How do you say this, Hunter? Three hundredths. Three hundredths. So see how that three is in the hundredths place. So we say three hundredths. Hundredths place. Did we talk about spitting? Yeah. yeah. Now you have to spit when you say decimals. Okay, make sure you do that. Three hundredths. Okay, what about this one? How do you say this fraction? 21 hundredths. 21 hundredths, right? So 21, it ends in the hundredths place. So you have to say 21 hundredths. 
Okay? I'm gonna have to wash this when I get home. Yeah, that sounds disgusting. 21 in ends in the hundred place. <laughs> so you have to spit because otherwise it sounds like hundreds place. Hundreds. So it sounds a very big difference. Hundreds and hundred. Yes. <laughs> so, so like the one with 21 being in the zero before the two. Okay, so then then what place value would that end in? Thousand. Thousand. So you say twenty-one thousand. Okay. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? Oh, are you uh, making that with not your mouth? Dylan said there was a black at Timmy Beans. Oh. I did have Chipotle for lunch. Lucky. Oh my gosh. I know. So here's the deal. You know, for Halloween this year, you know how they usually give you a free burrito or a cheap burrito if you dress up. Well, they didn't they do that. Do? What they do? Yeah, every year Halloween they they do that. But that's why there's always a lot big lines at Chipotle. But not this year because of COVID. They didn't want big lines and lots of people. So they did an online thing. Buy one get one free. So we we I had one, but I didn't get to eat it until now but it was worth the wait. Even cold, it's a beautiful burrito. Okay, anyway, back to here. So, you guys, really, you're just rewriting this number, and you can, you can rewrite this as a fraction. So if you can say the frac, if you can say the decimal, you can write the fraction. Because this is three tenths. How do you say three tenths like a fraction? Kiara? Just three over ten, right? How do you say that as a fraction? Grady? Uh, three over hundred. Right, three hundred. Right, Hunter? How do you say point two one? Twenty one over hundred. Twenty one hundredths. Okay, now here's the two acceptable ways to say decimals. If you're gonna say point, that's fine, but don't. Don't read the numbers normally. Just read it digit by digit. You can say 0.21, but don't say 0.21. Okay? You can say 2100, okay? But don't say 0.21. All right? If you're going to say point anything, you just have to list the digits. Even if there's like seven digits after the decimal, you have to say point, one, four, one, five, six, you know, whatever. So that's like... Pi is not 3.14. Pi is approximately 3.14. Okay? Yes? Um, a quick question. About quick question. That. Go. <laughs> what, if, what if you would put a number before the decimal? Would it mean that it's That's what we're going to talk uh, about next. Oh, wow. Fancy. That's what I did. I just danced there. That's, I felt I regretted it as soon as I did it. So let's say I just said 12. I could say this 12.345. That's an acceptable, acceptable way to say it, okay? 12.345. The unacceptable way is 12.345 or 12.345. Don't, you have to say each digit by itself if you say point, but don't say point. Say it this way, 12 and, right? Because that's the only place where you can say and. So 12 and, how do you say this part of the number? Three, four, five. Three, four, five. So don't say 12 and three, four, five. <laughs> you say 12.345 or 12 and what? Hunter? 345,000. That's right. 345, just say the number normally. 340. Five. That's normally. And then you say it, yeah, that is normally. Don't judge. Over the the ending place value. Where does three, four, five end in? In the thousandth place. So, thousand. Okay? Now, how do I write that as a fraction? Yes? Oh, I think you might have made a mistake. Oh, really? 
In the 21 up there, is there only two zeros? Where? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. 2100. Because oh. it ends in the hundred oh. place. So basically, to write the fraction, you just, the amount of zeros you put on the bottom is basically how many place values it is. Okay? So how do you write this as a fraction? Well, what's the, e the easy part is just what? Write 12. 12, yeah. And then, and then we need to, a fraction. How do I say that? How do I write it? 345 over 1,000. Okay, and then you can reduce it if you want. If you did this on a test, you would be required to reduce that. What goes into both 345 and 1,000? Yeah, five can go in there. Let's see. 69 times, and then we got uh, five goes into 1,200 times. So, and then you can probably reduce, um, maybe reduce that. No, I think you're done. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. All right, so far so good. How are we feeling? Okay, so this whole thing, this whole thing is called the uh, decimal number, okay? Decimal number or just decimal, okay? But we, we always say the wrong things, okay? What's this dot called? Point. Yeah, so your point, and I heard decimal, but technically this whole thing is the decimal, but this is the decimal point. I know, I say decimal all the time too. So where's the decimal? All you do is move the decimal. Well, technically, this whole thing is the decimal, but that's the decimal point, okay? It's semantics, it doesn't really matter too much, but I don't want people to make fun of you if you say it wrong, like you're out, you're talking about decimals, you know? People might make fun of you if you say it wrong. People are probably gonna make fun of you if you say it right, because no one knows what to do then. Yeah, if you're talking about decimals in public, you might get a, yeah, yeah I don't know, some odd looks. Okay, so, we good with 31? This is 31. Can you guys handle this? Yeah. All right. Black math. Give me some math and I'll give you some flack. Black math.